All right. Uh, hello here, Louis Philippe Long from Belgium. I'm an explorer and adventurer. I'm going to show you how to export the data of your uh, Garmin uh, InReach Explorer. This is the device. Uh, one thing you have to know about it, uh, the percentage of battery is here. And if it goes below 15%, it will stop tracking to be able to use the uh, SOS button that you find here and managing with this. Uh, I love this little system for tracking, two-way messaging and so on. Uh, it's bigger than the InReach Mini uh, that has no screen. The InReach Mini is linked to your phone, but if you go uh, for long expeditions, the phone uh, battery doesn't last long. It also needs to be linked by Bluetooth, so it's using both the battery of your Garmin InReach Explorer and both the battery of your phone. So I prefer this, that it has one device and do everything I need uh, on expedition. So to export the data, usually what you can just see, check that everything here has a little eye that is open. You unselect it and you see here, I see some data here, or oh, expedition, okay, here. And you just export on clicking this button. I thought the GPX, okay, now let's say I wanna have a GPX here and I'm gonna store it in my Garmin and I am gonna call this one tests. There you go. And as you can see, I have it 96 kilobytes, which is very low for a lot of data. So there's something wrong that I figured out only today, and this is why I'm making this video, to have the data of the tracks, because here, as you can see, if I zoom in, I only see the points I have, the waypoints, like the little flags. To see the track, you have to find the last point you saved with the track, which is here. And there's an arrow of my last position that was last summer, and there's a little plus here. You click on the plus. And it will show the track here. As you can see, the whole track is coming. The track is also coming here for the Pyrenees. If I zoom out and back in Sweden, the track is also here. And I also have it for an expedition in Australia and Tasmania here, also here. And then because I have everything here, I check again that I have all the little eyes here, that I have no filter on the dates because then I have everything. I just click on here. And obviously, as you can see, it takes a bit longer. I'm going to call it test two. And test two is obviously way bigger. This is why it has all the track points. This is exactly what I wanted. It has been taking a lot, many years actually to figure that out, but finally I have it. Now uh, I use um, GPX Studio, so I discovered that uh, two weeks ago. If I take a point on GPS and I want to put it here, it's quite fast and you can see the track. Well, there's a few missed uh, errors that I have to fix because it's kind of linking expeditions together. But as you can see, if I zoom on here, this is where I've been walking. And uh, with GPX Studio, you can remove your GPS. Uh, I'll kind of show you actually, if you want to remove the uh, waypoints like here, you just say this, I want to delete the waypoints, proceed instead the waypoints. There's also these straight lines linking the waypoints I need to delete manually, but you get the picture. This is how you manage to download the track. If you want to download only this region, well, I know that this is an expedition of 2020. I have to select here with the custom range data and put, let's say from 1 January 2020 to 31 December 2020. And I'm gonna have all the points that are here. If I don't want the waypoints, I click the map, see? If I don't want the messages, I remove the messages. I don't know why these messages are still here, but for sure, here they are uh, gone. If I want them back, I click here. If I want the waypoints back, I click here and there's more data. There you go. Enjoy uh, your Garmin Energy Rich and have one. It's safety. And feel free to um, give me a little help by following me on social media. I'm going to put a link in the comments where you can follow me on Instagram and so on, Facebook. See you. Bye bye.